Good morning, folks. While not as large as our mega sunspot group from late October, the incoming active region on the northern hemisphere of the sun has been flaring and popping CMEs. Yesterday afternoon, an X 1.6 class solar flare erupted from the group. Umbral fields surged. A radio blackout was detected at Earth as it ionized the upper atmosphere, and a CME was released. Looking back at our previous eruptions, those CMEs came while the sunspot was still near the limb and not Earth-facing, and therefore the CMEs are set to miss our planet, but this latest and largest of the flare sequence is much closer to center disk, and the wide burst CME may indeed have an Earth-directed component. Now while the halo is still a question mark, the Enlil spiral from NASA is not. They clearly show an Earth impact from this eruption should hit late Sunday night or into Monday morning. Luckily, it was only X1, so CME will not be anything to fear. At most, some auroras and a magnetic storm will ensue. Of note, after the large solar flare, the X-ray flux has flatlined. After looking like this yesterday morning, the group has diminished a bit in umbral size and spread out. This reduces magnetic complexity, although I definitely still note some delta spots in there so we could see some more activity. In 211 angstroms, the coronal holes are visible. Southern group became Earth-facing during the PNG quake we analyzed yesterday, but the other one in coming up north is worth a note, especially because the full grouping, which is still on the other side of the chart, looks to have some force. And while we've been under primary negative influence, that northern incoming coronal hole is positive in green. We kick to an amazing link from the Weather Channel on Tornado Genesis, a look inside an F5. As dazzling as their animations are, the article is worth a read as well. Link is below the video. We've also got the info linked on how to watch Rosetta try to land on a comet. It's just four days away and an expose by Hubble of exoplanet nursery debris and the importance of those fields for planetary formation. Here's that horrible Alaska storm we warned about yesterday. Looking further ahead, this will contribute to the next Arctic blast to enter the U.S., aided by the upper stratospheric northern vortices to dump cold air down across the border. Meanwhile, the central convergence in North America is relatively weak at its southern point, not strong until you get north a bit, combining with the Pacific moisture flow for tonight's rain and snowstorm watches up north. The weaker southern part will have no rain. Same two systems here, North Atlantic and Eastern Mediterranean. Those two continue to carry the moisture flows and cloud cover and also drive tonight's flash flood possibilities. Down under, we note only the strong convergence reaching up from Antarctica across the south central portion of Australia. No question marks there, just check your local warnings if you're in the area. In today's Fly on the Wall episode, we'll discuss all the recent current events of importance, including some yet to come. We'll also go into some concerning material unearthed by David Hyde at The Collective. If you aren't yet a member, it is a whopping $3 to join for a month or get a full year for only 20 We appreciate your support very much. Got some great shots of our star to close at 6 a.m. Eastern Time, 5 a.m. Central. Our San Antonio event is today, Houston tomorrow. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.